Hi, my name is John Bowden, creator of Back of the House, and welcome to the pilot episode. Should you enjoy it, you can like it on Facebook, as we'll be making more in the future, and we'd love to share them with you. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Take care. Unfortunately, I gave her the last beat, so I guess you'll have to trade with her. Oh, hey, um, I'm sorry. Is there a problem here? Yeah, there's a problem here. That guy tried to pawn his fish off on me. I didn't order fish. I hate fish. I'm allergic to fish, in fact. I break out in hives. I do apologize. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, unfortunately, it appears that some people have changed their orders. Is that my problem? No, uh, not necessarily, except that there is no more beef left in the back. I can, however, offer you a delicious vegetarian. Do I look like a vegetarian? Does it, it doesn't look like this, so just give me a beef, okay? <clears throat> Sir, I'm sorry, Drew. No, 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 you don't what? understand. I ordered a beef, so I should be getting a beef now. How? It's okay, you can have my beef. No, 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 I won't have you do that. This guy just needs to bring me a goddamn beef! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Uh, hold on one second, okay? No, no, no. This guy's demanding people. We are all out in the back. Can you help me out? Offer him a vegetarian? I did. He's pissed off. He is. What do you mean? I believe in you. Good luck with that. Did you want a cup of coffee? No, thank you. You're okay? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, they formally introduce us, by the way. I'm Ted. Monica. Nice to meet you. You too. So, here's your training checklist. Thank you. All right. Now, you're going to have to have F walk with me here. We're going to need every department head to sign off on this one before you graduate from the leadership and training program. Got it? Yeah. Fuck that guy. Whoa. Hey, settle down. We have an intern here. This is Monica. Hi. You know that dickhead out there? The one that demanded beef because he's allergic to fish? Yes. Mr. Daniels. I yeah. <laughs> well, he's eating the fish. Yeah, so I said, I don't do over your fooling with. Son of a bitch. He switched with that woman even after you brought in that steak from the kitchen. What is your name again, Helen? Son of a bitch. Doesn't look like he's allergic to me. Oh, Manny, uh, there is a spill down in the basement. Just came over the radio. Can you please go down and clean it up? Gracias. You can't let customers treat you that way. You're part of the union. I'm a manager. Um, you're a supervisor. Big difference. OK, so what would you expect me to do? Honestly? Punch him in the neck. That's, that's not really an option. Why not? You should do it. Go in and punch him square in his fucking neck. For one, I could lose my job. No way. It would be a warning. What? The union would back you. Ask Linda. What's the punishment for a physical altercation with a client? Is the server drunk? No. Provoked? Yes. Warning. You gotta be kidding me. You were provoked. I am your witness. How many warnings do you have? Three. Three. No, 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 no. Leave me at it. Monica, I am so sorry. Did you find the cafeteria okay? Please come with me. Come on. I'm not done with you yet. Hey, is this a good time? Uh, just a minute. Uh, so this is Phil Moore. Uh, he is the director of F&B. He runs all the operations for the banquets, in-room dining, the restaurant. It's a lot of responsibility, a lot of computer time. All right, Mr. K, I got payroll, scheduling, and inventory here. OK. And don't forget your 1 o'clock with Miss Mady. Yes. Thank you, Margie. So what is it you're doing? Shoe sale ends tomorrow. 
What size shoe do you think I am? Ten, ten and a half. I can never remember. I'm not good with numbers. I need you in the room. Just give me a second. We have a vegan. You know what I need. Fruit plate. Fruit plate. Order two. I love the fruit plate. Do you mind taking mine for a little bit? I'm kind of busy. I got three functions going on. Oh, and these shoes are just going to order themselves? Please? I guess. Chef Jeff, where is everyone? On break. Lunch is over. Not yet. We need two fruit plates. Why? What does it matter? <laughs> well, if it's for you, there's an employee cafeteria. No, it's for a guest. A guest? Well, that sounds like you need one fruit plate. Fine. Can I have a fruit plate, please? Why? You're vegan, all right? And today's dessert is cheesecake. They do not eat cheesecake. Well, it sucks to be them. I made that cheesecake myself, and it fucking rocks. So can I have a fruit plate? Lunch is over. Jeff, I am telling you to make me a fruit plate. Ask me again, politely. Jeff, we Shh. Sincerely. Jeff, will you please make me a fruit plate? No. Three no, beef, no, two fish. Like All right, come on, everybody. Let's go gather around. Safety meeting. Now, we're in the middle of lunch. Yes, now, smart guy. We do have a monthly quota, OK? Oh, All right, bring it in. Pay attention. All right, say, so which one of you brainiacs here can tell me the extension for loss prevention, huh? I got to get back to my table. Uh, 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 uh. Not so fast, Speedy. I mean, this may seem unimportant to you now, but how important would it be if someone was, say, stealing a purse, huh? Or maybe sleeping in a banquet room? Or raping you? What's going on here? Oh, perfect timing, Fillmore. Maybe you can uh, demonstrate to these employees here the number to call when all hell breaks loose, huh? I didn't okay this. I did send you an email on this. You, you didn't see that, right? So look, if you wanted to change this time, or any time for that matter, all you had to do was pick up a house phone and press G-U-N. That's gun, Fillmore. You don't even carry guns. No, but I do carry mace. Ready, willing, and able. And mace is the extension for housekeeping. This is a monumental waste of time. No one learns anything from these safety meetings. Weasel. Where? Where? Jesus, man, don't do that. I could give somebody a heart attack. What's going on? Oh, I was in the middle of a safety meeting here when Phil joined me. I joined Joe to add my two cents. You can never have enough safety. Is that why you're late? Yes, it is. For your information, why I am late for... Your meeting with Miss Mady. She sent me up here to get you. Of course she did. Well, I was telling Joe this wasn't the right time. No, no, no. You said it was a waste of time. A waste of Miss Mady's time, Joe. And I stand by that. Got it. So, who's this for? Uh, nobody. I need you to see this guy one last time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Aren't you tired of assholes like this <laughs> fucking up treating you like you don't exist? <laughs> <laughs> Susan, I am so sorry. The, the battery in my watch That's died. That's fine, Fillmore. I, Just take a seat. We have a problem. <laughs> yes, we do. I've been meeting with the union. Yeah. Do you know what this is about? It's about the thing with... Uh, this is a contract year. Right. Corporate wants an across-the-board 30% reduction in benefits. They're standing firm. The union's never going to go for that, Susan. I know that, Fillmore. That's why you're here. Of course it is. You have a good relationship with your team, right? Yeah, I'm like their father. Okay. I'm blood father, not priest father. But, I mean, some of them look up to me like a religious leader. If the employees are planning any action, I need to know. You can count on me. I am. And one last thing. The intern that's been following you, she's my niece. The best. Just make sure she learns what great customer service means. I'll put my best man on it. But you're right. You are, you are, you are right. It, it's, like, it's like I'm Banquo's ghost at Lennox's table. Who? Shakespeare. I, I, I'm an apparition. You know, he, he doesn't recognize me as human. He is attempting to belittle me by, by, by stripping me of my humanity in front of his peers. What are you talking about? He's a jerk. Exactly. He's a jerk. And that jerk is going to get up and walk out of here unless you do something about it. 
You're right. Damn right I'm right. So what should we do? I got, I got something. Okay. Have you gone with coffee yet? <laughs> I like the way you're thinking. If he goes with decaf, I give him regular. The guy's gonna be shaking like a leaf out of here. No, pour the fucking coffee in his lap. And scold him. That's like telegraphed. How's that gonna be an accident? All right. I'm gonna give you something I've been saving for a very special day. It's guaranteed to be seen as an accident, but I'm only gonna tell you if you promise to do it. What is it? You take the spoon, put it in your sleeve like this. You say, sorry, sir, I think you dropped something. You go down and pick it up, and you headbutt him right in the fucking nose. It couldn't be easier. You come up with a fucking spoon, it's guaranteed to be seen as an accident. But Hector, you I promised me You're sure I'm not gonna get fired? Positive. So Monica, as you see, customer service is about ownership. Here at the Infinity, we empower each of our employees to make decisions based on our customers' needs. My aunt told you, huh? Your aunt who? No, this is part of the training I give to all interns. Now, let's see how customer service is really done. Some of the servers have decent suck-up skills, but Ted is gifted with the clients. Here we go. Make Ted see something. Absolutely. Um, how was the fish, sir? Tasted like sawdust. So sorry to hear that. Can I get you a glass of wine in the house? Make it too. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, sir. And that is why Ted's the captain. Fruit plate. Picking up the plates of somebody else. Taking my idea of a good time. I'd much rather be hanging with my friends than working for the man and getting paid in time. Sir, it was an accident, sir. You dropped your spoon. 